Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking Chrysler Pacificas today, and in today's video, the step by step process on how to properly and carefully replace an overhead light. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, DIYers outside in the garage right now, and this is our Chrysler Pacifica. Let's go ahead and hop inside. I want to show you what happened. Here are the overhead lights. We've got several of them. However, if you come to the opposite side or driver's side entrance, check this out. No light bulb. What is that? There it is. So a couple days ago when we pushed this push button for the light to turn on, unfortunately it fell back in and down. So we need to remove this entire plastic panel. And you want to do this carefully. What I'll do is shift over to the opposite side. Go ahead and carefully push up on the top portion and get your fingers in between there. And I recommend pushing up on the top panel with your thumb as you apply downward pressure to the plastic panel. And inside here, you will see the little latch. And you need to muscle this out just like that. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. I'll set the camera down and do the other one. Back inside the van to the opposite side. And trust me, DIYers, this took every bit of my patience to get this out. And as you can see, there are four aluminum clips inside there. And each clip on the very bottom has little teeth on it. And those dig into those plastic pieces, as you can see, the grooves bitten out or scraped out. And carefully, with even pressure, pull this panel downward as you apply upward pressure without damaging this panel. And sooner or later, it will come loose. Again, there is the light right there. And obviously, the hole's too small for my hand, so I might need to get a tool to maneuver up in there and grab the light and wiring carefully. And there's the tool I use to grab the internal light bulb and casing. It's basically a big box, see that? right up in there. And now all I have to do is use both hands to maneuver it back into place. All right, DIY is making progress. Got the entire light housing. It's plastic. You got an electrical wiring on the back side. Make sure your light bulb is down toward the ground. And on the back side, you've got this little indent right there. And when shifting this piece back up into place, you wanna make sure you align that properly. As you can see, right in there. See that? And snap it right into place. I got a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to remove these aluminum clips and pinching the inner tabs here, you can carefully remove those. At this point, I've got all four clips removed. On the bottom portion, you've got those little teeth. I actually want to push those and reseat those back inside the clip. And all I'm going to do is apply just a little bit of pressure to the teeth and push them back in position inside the clips. And they don't have to be flush. You just want them inside a bit. Flip it over and do the same thing until it pops through, just like that. And now they are reseated where I want them. Here's a better view of all four of the clips. Again, the internal teeth are now repositioned and facing upward toward the upper and roundish top. And now what I'll do is shift this part into place and reinsert these onto all four of these plastic connection towers. And yes, I've changed camera angles because these are going to require a little bit of muscle to put these on. and make sure that they are flush with these plastic towers as shown here. What I wanna show you prior to repositioning this into place, securing everything, on these actual clips, on each end are little compression tabs, and if you can get your fingers up in that hole where this housing goes, and you can compress these tension tabs, you can actually release this part a lot easier than I could because I couldn't get my hand in there as it was too big for that little hole. From here, there's no easy way to do this DIYers. What I might do, the back side that I remove first as I reposition this part in place, I may shift that in as shown here and properly seat that. Use my other hand to align the plastic light housing and clip it into place and shift this panel up into place inside those inner slots. And again, I'll need both hands and a bit of patience. And obviously this happened as I was shifting that part into place, this inner plastic housing here that the clamps go into, it is held down by adhesive and it gave way. So we are going to have to re-superglue that. And I'm using 
Gorilla Super Glue. I'm going to carefully raise this portion of the housing and apply super glue inside the gap between the foam and the plastic part in hopes of re-securing it. Spend a few seconds, apply the glue, and I'm going to press the two together and hold for about a minute to properly seat it. And in the event that you had to glue it like me, I'm going to wait 24 hours. I'll just press it down all the way around one last time carefully. And again, just wait patiently. We'll allow that glue to dry. All right, DIYers, it's been 24 hours back inside the van, and we applied a lot more super glue than the manufacturer applied adhesive because we did not want this plastic piece coming loose from the actual fabric and top panel here. Next thing we noticed, when we clip this into place, nothing is broke on here nor the panel that secures itself here. However, this entire plastic housing pops out of its connections pretty easily. So what we might do is secure this with black electrical tape. And there's the finished product with the electrical tape. This is optional, personal preference. You do not have to do this, but we are going to do this because again, this plastic housing very easily pops out of its plastic connection points on this panel. And then we have to take it all the way down and re-secure it. And from here, I'm just going to carefully shift this back up into place, align those tension tabs and shift them in those slots. And in Additional step that will require patience. Again, align those tension tabs, shift it up into place, and with one hand pushing up on here, what we'll need to do is reinsert that plastic clip there. All right, DIYers, here is the finished product. Everything is back up and secured and the light is flush. That electrical tape came in very handy. Hopefully the video helped. Again, it will take patience. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And one more thing, down in the comment section as well as the description section are a few additional videos on this Pacifica. Definitely check them out. You may find them helpful.